All right, today we are looking at the Rad Runner Electric Utility by Rad Rover, excuse me, by Rad Power Bikes. It's $11.99. It's, um, it's more of a uh, kind of a little park cruising bike. Uh, maybe put the kids on the back rack, uh, put some groceries on it. Uh, you can certainly haul some stuff. Um, I know there's a, an additional seat that you can get that goes on this. Um, kind of makes it look like one complete seat, which is pretty cool. There's also this like basket that you can put that kind of goes in between here. Um, it, it kind of it conforms to the the U of the bike, and it, it holds drinks. It's a big compartment you can put stuff in, and it also makes the bike look cooler. Um, <clears throat> it has a 750 watt rear hub motor um, by Rad Power, so they uh, they don't OEM motors from Bafang or somebody. They make their own. Um, it has 180 millimeter rotors. It has Tektro Aries brakes. It has <clears throat> it has a nice bell kind of integrated into the uh, brake lever. Kind of cool. It's got a really minimalistic, very minimalistic um, display. So it's got. The power button it's got lights it does have lights which is pretty cool i'll show you that in a second it's got lights um it has pedal assist levels one through four so these are up and down these are the actual pedal assist levels and then there's the battery uh capacity okay that's it for the uh the display <clears throat> here's your twist throttle um it's got these pretty cool hand grips that have like a nice place to rest your palm and um bmx handlebars kind of i like them I'm a big fan of the handlebars. I think they look pretty cool. Here's the light in the front. The light in the back. Here are, what are they? Let's see, the tires are, I know they're, they're 20 by three inch. And they've got, you know, some nice tread. You can definitely take this on some park trails, you know, some grass, etc. It's not really an off-road bike, but it definitely has some off-road capability with these tires. Nice big four inch wide tires. Um, excuse me, three inch wide tires. 20 by three wide. Um, does not have any suspension. And um, the seat is kind of interesting. I mean, it's got some, you can tell it's got some, you know, some depression. So it's got some, some uh, uh, cushion for you. But the typical bike seat comes out to about here, right? So this thing is shorter from back to front. And what's interesting is when you're riding it, your thighs kind of hit this part because it's also wide. You know, the actual typical seat kind of goes like this. This thing is wide, so your thighs hit this. So I'm not a big fan of the seat, you know? Um, and uh, it has quick release seat. Um, it has quick release in the front for taking off the front tire, which is nice. Um, did I say the tires are Kenda? puncture resistant um, they are I like the cabling a uh, little wrap for the cabling that's pretty cool it's a nice little touch um, <clears throat> it's a single speed so you can tell it's only got the the one little sprocket in the back <clears throat> and it's got the, the dual chain guard here for the, the chain I like that so <clears throat> if you had like a nine speed bike the single speed on this bike is pretty much like gear four so it's got some low end, but doesn't have any top end. So it's pretty easy to take off from a dead stop, um, but you can't pedal much more than like 15 miles an hour because uh, the gear is just too low, you know? But compared to um, like the Rad Mission, um, which is like a, a little mountain bike, also single gear, it basically has like gear seven. It has no low end, only top end. So it's nice that you can take off from a dead stop on this thing and you can go up some decent hills, you know? It does have 750 watts, so it's got a decent motor. And that's it. All right, we are on the Rad Runner electric utility bike. And I'm six foot, 210 pounds. And you know, I got the seat up pretty, pretty high and it's, it's, it's okay. I can definitely get some leverage. I can stretch my legs out. Um, but you do feel like your knees are a little close to the handlebars. So I think if you have long legs, it's probably not the bike for you. So I like the 20 by three inch tires. 
as opposed to four. You still have the cushion of the fat tires and the, you know, the multi-terrain capability, but you also have a little bit more carving capability. It feels a little more nimble, you know, which makes sense. Um, but yeah, it just feels good, you know. Let's go through a little grass, no problem. So 750 watts. It's got some low end torque, which is pretty cool. Easy hill climbing capabilities. I went up a hill the other day, like a giant hill, like 300 yards, maybe eight to 10% grade. And I went up it no problem in pedal assist four. Um, yeah, pedal assist four. So here we are going up a hill, a pretty decent hill, maybe 6% grade. And we just flew right up it no problem with throttle only. So it's got, like I said, some low end torque. And when you pedal, the gear is kind of again on the low end and so uh you know it helps you go up hills as well let's put it in pedal assist four what's nice is pedal assist four gives you some really nice pull so i just got some nice acceleration between three and four but you are going to outrun the pedaling on this thing because it has a low end gear so i'm almost pedaling faster than i really can you know um we're probably going about 15 miles an hour 14 miles an hour and I'm really pedaling. So I think it, your pedaling kind of peaks at like 15 miles an hour. Um, I did use a speedometer on my, my phone app the other day and I did reach 19 miles an hour, almost 20, like 19.8 or something. Um, so 20 is the peak. I don't know if you can go into the settings and make it higher, I'm not sure. That's something you have to look into. So definitely a, you know, a, a campus cruiser uh, a grocery getting bike you know hauling the little kids around the park whatever but here we are in the grass and yeah it's bouncy because it has no suspension the <coughs> the um <coughs> three inch wide tires definitely help but you know it goes through it rolls through the grass pretty easy and here it is uh squirrel here it is rolling through the dirt and i've got some nice carving capabilities because it's got some decent dual sport tires so not bad, I'm not, I'm not slipping, you know? And I'm probably going about seven or eight miles an hour and I'm not slipping at all. So that's nice. So as you have the kids in the park and they want to go in the grass, mommy, mommy, take me in the grass. You can do that, okay? Little Billy will get his grass ride, okay? But I tell you, for a little, you know, for a little bike that doesn't cost much, I mean, you got some nice power. Surprising, you know? You can throttle only, like you can hear it. It's freaking, we're zipping. This thing's just tearing up the terrain. So it's got some nice power. All right, dare I say, and I will say this, this bike, $11.99. The um, Rad Power Rad Rover, which is, $15.99. This thing has a better motor. It's got more low end torque. It definitely has more acceleration. It has more power. I think if you put this bike, this motor, which is getting a 750 watt, you think they'd be exactly the same. But if you put this motor on the Rad Rover, you'd have a freaking bike, you know, because it's got the front suspension and all that. But yeah, this thing has a freaking some power. More power than the Rad Rover. Isn't that crazy? Like, no question, more power. Wow, surprising, very surprising. It also has a dual kickstand. I don't know if I told you that, like the upside down um, U, you know, it's got the two, the two different feet that, that uh, go into the grass. So it kind of like lifts the bike off the, off the ground a little bit. Here, I'll show you. So you can see there, the dual uh, feet kickstand, it kind of lifts the, the whole bike off the ground a little bit. What's cool is you can actually spin the tires when the bike's in the kickstand. So it actually is pretty easy to take the tires off with this bike. All right. Let's see. What else? All right. Pretty decent brakes. No problem there. With a lot of these bikes, when you get it out of the box, the brakes aren't the most, the, the best adjusted. And uh, just look on a YouTube video to adjust the brakes. It's pretty easy. 
It's really pretty easy. I thought it was hard, but it's not. Just gotta loosen a little bolt that holds the cable, the, the brake cable in place. Pull the cable through a little bit tighter, and there you go. You know, and that'll give you, you know, more uh, resistance here at the at the handle. A lot of times you pull the brake handle like halfway, and there's no resistance. That means that you gotta tighten the brake cable. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can hear the motor, but it just freaking takes off. You know. All right, so now we're gonna test the pedal assist levels. Now we're in pedal assist. Let's try no pedal assist. No pedal assist, flat ground. <clears throat> you know, I'm definitely feeling it. I mean, it's a freaking heavy bike. I think it's 65 pounds. <clears throat> Let's try pedal assist one. You can feel it. There's a little boost in pedal assist one. So pedal assist one, not bad. A lot of these bikes, pedal assist one is pretty worthless. <clears throat> this bike, not bad. I'm actually feeling the motor and hearing the motor. So now pedal assist two, not a big bump. You can hear a little bump in, in, the, in the, the motor sound, but not a big one. And I don't feel a huge difference. Let's try pedal assist three. This is usually where you see a big bump. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's taken off. It's kind of hard for me to pedal. Pedal assist three is pretty nice. Now let's try pedal assist four. Pedal assist, yeah, yeah, well, well, boy, oh boy. Pedal assist four's got some serious power. It just takes off. But because it's got a low gear, I'm probably, I'm pedaling really freaking fast. I can't even keep up with it. And I'm probably going like 15 miles an hour. So there you have it on the pedal assist levels. Let's try a speed bump, see how it does over that. All right, we're hitting the speed bump at like 15 miles an hour. Not bad, not bad. There's not, a, there's no cushion, but I will say as uncomfortable as the seat is because your back of your thighs hit it, it's got some cushion, you know? And the tires being four inches wide, I think a couple things. If you lower the tires to like 15, mile, 15 PSI, they're supposed to be like, let's say 30, you put it to 15, because it's an electric bike, you're still going to reach the speed you want. Um, so you lower the tire pressure a little bit and you put one of those suspension seat posts, even one of those cheap $30 suspension seat posts. You can certainly get like the $250 Connect ones, but they're, you know, really high end, probably unnecessary. Get one of those low end uh, seat posts. You're doing all right, you know, you're doing all right. So yeah, I'm a big fan of how they have these cables kind of bundled together. It's nice. They don't just kind of flop all over the place. But yeah, the hill climbing capability, like here we have 6% grade, maybe 50 yards. And we'll do it at a dead stop and we'll do throttle only. Okay. There we go. So yeah, like it already takes off. It's not a slow sluggish, it takes off. And we're probably going about seven, eight miles an hour. About 10, 11 miles an hour. We're definitely picking up speed. You can hear it picking up speed and I just know we're picking up speed. Yeah, we're probably like 11, 12 miles an hour right now. Uphill and uh, throttle only. So you throw the kids on the back, you throw some groceries on the back. You throw your uh, gym equipment on the back. You're doing all right, you know? This thing's gonna take you where you need to go. And you could even go on a light little trail if you had to. See, I'm a big fan of the motor. It's got some nice power to it. It just, it accelerates, it takes off, you know? So you wouldn't think so for a little dinky bike like this, you know? But I'm a fan, okay? I will say I like the thumb throttle better than the twist for some reason, but it's not bad, you know? <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do throttle only in this grass and it's uphill. And let's just see if this motor can actually do what I think it can do. All right, maybe not. All right, forget it. Anyway, <clears throat> that's gonna do it. Hope this helped you out. 
pretty cool bike, pretty inexpensive, pretty versatile in terms of carrying cargo, putting the kids on the back. Got a lot of different accessories and um, comes in variety of, color, variety of colors. <clears throat> and it's got some power and it's got a pretty decent battery, you know, 14 amp hours, 672 watt hours. So check it out. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace out.